I'm Keith Cambrin. I'm an amateur radio operator, and my call sign is Kilo Charlie One Alpha Tango Tango. In this video, I'm going to describe how to use the services and bands tabs in my website, radiocheck.us. This is the home page, which is described in a previous video on the home and live radio pages. The purpose of the services and bands tabs are to really give us a complete picture of the frequency spectrum uh, as regulated by the Federal Communications Commissions in the United States. So let's go to the services page first. It's a very simple page and in this we're going to select a service. The FCC breaks all of the bands into services and every service has one or more bands. Let's check the one we're most familiar with, the amateur bands. If I pick that, then I'll see a drop-down box to choose a band within the amateur services. So let's choose 20 meters. And when we choose 20 meters, we're going to see three rows pop up in this table. And these are broken down according to the band plan for that band. Now the band plans uh, have a regulated aspect to them, but in many cases the band plans are laid out by common use. So I'm going to pick the upper side band part of the 20 meters band, and I'm going to select that. And when I select it, we see band notes pop up. If I click on the band notes button, then this pop-up appears. And this is a set of notes uh, which lays out the amateur privileges as specified by the Federal Communication Commission and the band plan used in Region 2, the Americas. So uh, that's the uh, entire Region 2, but uh, this is a common usage, and it isn't all specified by the Federal Communications Commission. This is, these are the only rules up here that they lay out. These are common practices, and we see in the table the band is laid out, the frequency, the start and end of the frequency, the modes that are authorized in that band, and the peak power in watts, and then the license class is specified by the Federal Communications Commission. In the band plan, I took this from a variety of sources, and not all the sources agree on the band plans. However, they must all um, work within the confines of the FCC rules if you're a North American, or a, <clears throat> I should say, U.S. operator. The detailed notes below are taken from a variety of sources, primarily from the Federal Communications Commission. So it was quite a task, but I went through all the FCC documents and I put in the specific regulations that are described by the FCC for that ban. So I'm going to close that pop-up. Now we're back here. Having selected a ban, I can go to the Bands tab and we see a layout similar to what the FCC publishes, um, but uh, this is a little more convenient to use. They don't have a website like this. I wish they did. Would have saved me a bit of work. But in any event, um, this is what we have. The 20 meter band is up here at the top. We picked that one. Now if I want to move down in spectrum, I can go here and move to the left. If I want to zoom in, more, I can choose a higher zoom, and you can see the entire uh, spectrum as it's represented in this tabular form uh, conforms to whatever zoom I choose, and so there's a high level of zoom. Once I've zoomed in, I can pick uh, by clicking on a particular band, and then I can go down and see the notes for that band. So there's the pop-up for 80 meters and there's the band plan. So that's a quick and easy way to maneuver. You can also look outside, of course, the amateur bands if you're um, <clears throat> a shortwave listener. Uh, you're going to be 
interested in bands other than just the amateur bands, you might like to see what's on the shortwave 90 meters. And these band notes will tell you what the 90 meters is used for. And this spe spells out the peak power and uh, the preferred carriers within that band. So it's pretty handy if you're a shortwave listener. It gives you all the information that the FCC publishes in an easy to use format. You don't have to go digging through their tabular documents. And uh, believe me, they're quite difficult to use. And that is it in a nutshell. That's how to use this. It's pretty easy to navigate and you can select the number of display rows if you want up to 12 then you'll get 12 rows and you can set your zoom to figure out how um, how much data you want on a page or how little data. It even has of course the VHF bands for digital TV and police and government and um, all the bands that are covered within the spectrum. I think the spectrum goes out to about 2 gigahertz I cover uh, in this web page. And that is the services tab and the bands tab on my website. The website again is radiocheck.us.